Looks like Ace is heading straight for Falcon. Oh, sorry. Jokel. Oh. One of these days, we'll get that name right. I swear it. No, I don't. So, Mutu and Captain Falcon. I don't know where you want to go here. I think you want to go to PS2, yeah, if you're uh, if you're Jokel, because the size on the stage are enormous. You don't die to that knee as, as easily, and you don't really care much about... Uh, Help me! Anything other than surviving longer, because as long as Mewtwo survives the hits, he's going to get back onto the stage. So, Ace here playing a little bit more of a, a control-heavy game. Just, yeah, throwing out neutral airs. Wow. Getting hits. <coughs> Keeping himself safe from the teleports. Oh. Just able to, uh, yeah, convert off these stray hits. And that was incredible DI, and it doesn't matter. Oh, and you could be starting something cool here. Oh, misses a tech chase, but gets a down tilt and turns it into a combo that puts Captain at 97%. And he's still in a bad position here. He's, he hasn't actually gotten out of this bad position yet. Nope, he's still in it. He's still in it. Yeah, okay, he finally got out at 124%. But uh, Jokel's at a low enough percentage that he can just, yeah, up air out of that pressure. Uh, gets an errant hit. And Captain Falcon's down to three stocks as well. Okay, so a down throw at that percentage. Okay, I thought he might have done an up throw to try to get Ace's Falcon on to the platform for a much easier tech chase. Oh, nice. Two up airs isn't quite going to close it out here. This stage side boundaries are very large. Almost as large. Wow. Okay, then he's going to take it out, though. Almost as large as uh, Dreamland 64's. But, okay, here we go. And I think that Mewtwo is one of the characters who's floaty enough that he does not get to get back down to the ground at 0% after Captain Falcon neutral airs him, so Captain Falcon gets that throw incredibly easily. Ooh. And Ace doing a great job. He doesn't go for anything crazy there, no knees, just get an up air, get his percentage. He's already up, he doesn't need anything. There we go. And now he's looking to be almost two stocks ahead which is pretty comfortable. You never want to start playing differently because the way you're, you were playing before worked. <laughs> okay, Ace with the sportsmanship there. Jokel needed to, uh, to sneeze and Ace didn't hit him for it when he had to stop for a moment. Winds up losing a stock, but he's still up. We'll see. And wow, Ace is just, yeah, mixing it up really well between staying in place and neutral airing, covering the teleport option, and going in with his own neutral air. Uh, as a fairly safe approach. Though Mewtwo's limbs are big enough to, uh, to intercept that. Wow. He doesn't get much off of it, whereas if Falcon hits you with a neutral air, he can just end your stock like that. So now, we're looking at bands, Fountain of Dreams. The funny thing is that as far as stage dimensions go, that stage is great for Captain Falcon because you can never get away with it from him. He's got a decent amount of room to move around and his knees kill super early. But instead we're seeing uh, Dreamland 64. Jokel's going to have a little bit more room to uh, teleport around to maybe charge up his Shadow Ball, which we didn't see much of last match and try to get something started. He can actually move far enough away that Ace does not threaten both his ability to neutral air the teleport in and to approach at the same time. Joker can always be far enough away or close enough that one of those options is not reasonable. Wow, and three back airs in a row! Oh my goodness, but, uh, but Ace is able to Raptor Boost back onto the stage. <laughs> wow, you can turn around with your uh, Shadow Ball after you teleport. And Ace gets a really nice knee, but it's sent in the wrong direction, so uh, no stocks just yet. Oh, wow, what? And Joko grabs the ledge, but then gives it up, like, just instants before Ace was going to have to use a, a second recovery option. 
making it so Ace becomes incredibly safe. He's gonna get the first kill here. Yeah, so uh, all of Captain Whoa, Falcon's Jay! aerials can be safe enough on shield that he can jab you before you can grab him. So if you're gonna try to go for a grab, you need to see that he did his aerial too early or that he didn't fast fall it. Then you get a free grab. But otherwise, yeah, ouch. He can hit you out of it. And knee is actually plus another one of those crazy moves that's plus on a shield if it's used right before he touches the ground. That makes it incredibly safe on shield. In fact, it makes it so that he can just push another button. Wow! Very nice by Jokel. He's able to get the, uh, the edge guard there. And Ace with really good reactions there, seeing that he gets down tilted and uh, buffering a roll before he gets grabbed. And it feels like Mewtwo is incredibly susceptible to uh, the gentleman. He just gets hit for it. Wow, yep. But Falcon doesn't have the greatest recovery, and a nice back air is going to even up our stocks here. So Joko can get a little bit of a percent into a Gimp, or rack up the percentage to make it a little bit more even here. Oh, but I don't think it's quite going to kill. Not quite. Oh, and Ace doesn't quite get that grab. Okay, but a down throw into knee is going to end it. So, now Jokel needs to get something started here, but just gentlemen into down throw. Really Ace making sure that Jokel can't, can't get that started, can't get the stock off of him to make it so that it's really scary. Dang! Oh, Ace able to just neutral air all the way over. Okay. Ace channeling Dang! his Dan combos there for a moment. Going for a crazy read because he's got a stock lead. Oh, and Jokel's not able to quite get the edge guard, and he misses his ability to throw Ace back off. Okay, soft me isn't quite going to do it, and Jokel fights out with a forward air. But uh, he has to do something here. He has to get the stock off, and it's not going to happen. Ace takes the set. 2-0. So...